A few days ago, Gregspert AI Denoise has released its new AI version 2 for the denoising part. And that's a good opportunity on one side to actually see how good it is right now and on the other side discuss a few other things. See you after the trailer. Hey, this is Fear Into Space, I'm Sascha from Switzerland, so grüezi miteinander and thanks for watching my channel. So yes, we will go right afterwards on my computer and look at a few comparisons again, Gregspur Denoise versus Noise Exterminator. But let's first discuss a few things which got a lot clearer since my first video and let's also clarify a few things which led to confusion. So the first thing you remember that I complained in my first video that Gregspert is so slow compared to Noise Exterminator. And then a lot of people in the comments were complaining. No, that's not true. On my Windows PC, Noise Exterminator and Gregspert are exactly the same fast. And so I obviously thought that Gregspert was actually coded in a wrong way for the Mac and is much slower on a Mac than on the PC. But funny enough, it's the opposite way around. Noise Exterminator is so much faster, as it turns out, on a Mac than on a PC, that this is what made the difference. It's not really that Gregspert was much slower on a Mac, it was that Noise Exterminator is so much faster. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is again a very good argument why you should buy a Mac and not a PC. The other thing that was really interesting was a video which Frank Sackenheim, which belongs to the Gregsper team, actually released yesterday. It's in German, so if you don't speak German, probably you haven't watched that. And he made some very interesting statements there. Some which were true, some which were not true. But anyway, there were some very interesting points. First of all, he was not very happy with the comparison that was made between Topaz Denoise and Gregsbert. And it just states that some tools do not just denoising, but also sharpening as Topaz AI. So based on that, the results of Topaz AI look better at the end. But to be fair, you would also have to do some sharpening of the Gregspert result. And I think that's a very fair statement. So only denoise versus denoise should really be compared. Everything else can be done with other tools. But the other statement he made was factually wrong, but actually brought something very interesting to light. He stated that AI can only go full or none. So you let something run in AI and it creates a result. And if you want to have less of that, then you just take the end result, you take the original picture and you blend them in a certain ratio. The more of the original picture, the weaker the denoising. And based on that, he said all the comparison which were done were practically wrong. To compare it the right way, you have to let both applications, Gregspert AI and Noise Exterminator, to be run at 100%. Now, first of all, we know now how Gregspert does the strength selection. Frank described it to us. But the interesting part is that Noise Exterminator does not run that way. And I know that because I actually asked Ross yesterday. And the best is I quote what he wrote me. With Noise Exterminator, the desired amount of noise reduction and detail enhancement are supplied as parameters to the network. The ability to reduce noise more or less is thus a function that the NXT AI performs itself. It's not done as a post-processing blending operation. Now that doesn't mean that it's better or worse than Gregspert, but it's important to understand for you. Because in principle with Gregspert what it means, if you go to 100%, you see what you get and if you tone it down, it's just a weaker form of what you have seen with 100%. But with Noise Exterminator, if you go to 100%, you can see something very ugly based on that the AI overshoots. And when you tone it down, it might look completely different and much better. 
So to bring an example, with 100% in NXT, you might have artifacts, you might have patches. That doesn't mean that with 80% or 60%, you have these artifacts and patches in a weaker way, but they might just not be there as the AI interprets it differently. And I think knowing that, that really helps to use each of these tools in the right way. So now let's jump to my computer, look at two examples, one with average noise, one very noisy, the one you have seen last time, and let's see how Gregsbert Denoise with the new AI performs. Okay, and welcome to Pix Insight. And I know what you're thinking. Now comes exactly the same stuff that you've already seen from five different YouTubers before. But I guarantee you there is actually a twist by what I will show you and a very good lesson to learn. But we start, yes, we start the same. We have here a picture which has about an average noise, like decently done, not very well, but decently done AstroPix in our days. And this is on a one-to-one -one resolution here. You can actually see down here, there's still some noise. And we have here some nebulosity, so, so we have quite a variety. Now, first of all, I treated this with noise exterminator. And when we toggle, you see that the noise nicely disappears. And I think I used here around 60% of the noise exterminator. What is crucial here that you, for example, look here. You see that the structure, which is here undenoised, <laughs> uh, is very well visible. It's also with the noise exterminator still visible. Same here, for example, you still nicely see this gap when it's denoised. So now I did about a comparable amount of denoising with Gragspert. We're again starting with the original picture, focus again here, and you see how it gets already extremely blurry. These structures that are here very well visible are almost not visible anymore. Same here, it's extremely blurry. Let's now compare Gragspert with Noise Exterminator. This is Noise Exterminator, you see the structure, you almost don't see it with Gragspert. But now let's go a step further. Remember what Frank said? He said that actually, you should use an AI by 100%. So I did that here. So this is 100% Gragspert. And now you see that everything gets extremely blurry. All the structures here are disappearing. And now let's remember again what Frank says, how lower strength in Gragspert is done. It's done by a combination of the original picture and the 100% picture, which we have here. So we mix this here, 60% and 40% of the original picture, for example, and we get then the less strong picture. What means we take this extremely blurry picture and take a part of it and cover it over the original picture, which obviously still has the structure. And suddenly it's for me very, very obvious why the results here in this rather good quality or at least average picture are substandard. And with that, let's go to the second one. And what I will show you is, is quite remarkable. Remember this picture here. This is the Veil vale Nebula. This is this awful picture I used already last time when we talked about cracks per noise. So again, this has tons and tons and tons of noise. Absolutely horrific. So we have to fully blast up noise extermination to actually get rid of it. So now let's look at Noise Exterminator. And when we compare it, yes, it absolutely deletes the noise. So far, so good. Now let's use Gragspert. 
and let's compare Graxpert with Noise Exterminator. And now what you see actually is that you have these kind of horrific um, patches. Um, look, look at here. Here it's very smooth with Graxpert and with Noise Exterminator there's all these little patches here it really doesn't look good. And even when we actually go here with a one to two, so a little bit less zoomed in, it's very nicely visible. You think first it's, it's more contrast, but actually the, the background looks really bad in Noise Exterminator. So why is that? Now, as we discussed before, Noise Exterminator works differently. It really tells the AI model how strong it should denoise and based on that it actually does it. And as we also know already from a very long time, we never go fully up with noise exterminator because it tends, when you put it on too strong, it tends to do some artifacts, some patches. So we always go with a maximum of 80, usually 60%, and then we get very nice results. On the other side, Cragspirt is what it is, and it does its best when you can use it full blast. And so we see some very different use cases for these two applications. If you have horrific noise, like here, and you really have to amp the application up to get rid of this noise, Graxpert is presently by far the better solution. And on the other side, if you have average pictures or even good picture with just a little bit of noise, you get much the better solution with Noise Exterminator. And by the way, if you have a Mac, even a much faster um, processing. And so I think, and so I think that is really the lesson learned out of what we know now, how these two applications work. So what does this now all mean? I recently told it to someone who asked me if he should use gradient correction or Gregspert. And I asked him, do you only have one screwdriver in your toolbox? Most likely not. Do you only have one type of knife in your kitchen? Most likely not. And I think you see where I'm going. I'm really appreciative to have as many different tools as possible in my toolbox, be it for stacking, be it for gradient correction, be it for denoising, and yes, also for stretching. And it's sometimes amazing how one tool outperforms the other in the most unlikely situations. There's too many exceptions in our business that we can reliably say that in each and every situation, one or the other tool will perform better. So my choice is that I'm happy that I have two tools. I will use as default still Noise Exterminator because it's 10 times faster on my Mac. But knowing that in certain situations, Gregspert outperforms Noise Exterminator is very helpful, especially if I ever should have a very noisy picture again. If you want to get such information on a continuous level, always when I hear something, please subscribe to my Patreon channel. Link is in the description below. See you next time and clear skies.